the wealth that we could feed. This expanding middle class in ASEAN will have to be responsible for our own sustainability. We are consuming more, we are expending more resources, and we are reaching out even deeper into the surface of the earth to unearth more of the deposits for our well-being. But what kind of well-being if 600 million people are going to suffer with the degradation of the environment? So I'm appealing to all 10 governments of ASEAN, not growth alone. Thou shalt not live and take pride in the numbers of the growth of the GDP alone. We must also look at the quality of that growth. Whether with 1% growth, we are putting more damage and suffering to our own people who don't have the choice of being in the middle class with us or all the species that the Secretary mentioned who have no choice of any other capital except where they are. So in the Jari Mufil Abdul Khalifa, we certainly are creating our representative on earth, the custodian of all creation. Unless and until we take that seriously, unless and until this new awareness is being inculcated in all and every one of us, 600 million people here in the ASEAN region. It is going to be very, very difficult to protect the wildlife and the habitat. And in the end, the environment that sustains our own life. So, ladies and gentlemen, It was Charles Darwin who said, the fittest shall survive. But he never said that that fitness only mean physical fitness. Later on, Henri Bergson of France came up with a new theory extending what Charles Darwin established. Not just the survival of the species, but that species must also be intelligent, must also be ready, must also be able to evolve intellectually. This is the time when not only 600 people in ASEAN is going to come up with that new awareness that we cannot survive alone as human species. We must survive together with the rest of the creation on the surface of this earth. And I call that new awareness as the intellectual transformation of all human beings, 7 billion of us, including 600 million here in ASEAN. But it will take a lot of effort. It will take a new David. I don't know who is going to be that new David, so that you can hear the birds and the bees singing again in the forest, in the valley. Let us say, every one of us will have to assume that new role of them. Because that's the only way that we will survive together. And let me end by this observation. 65 million years ago, there was a phenomenon, natural disaster, we were told by scientists that a meteorite giant hit the earth 
that it costs layers and layers and layers of dusts in the atmosphere and it killed all living species including the dinosaurs. But that natural phenomenon, catastrophe, had no moral dimension to it because it did not involve intelligent beings. It did not involve beings that could make choices. There was no moral dimension to that catastrophe. This time, every one of us, seven billion of us on Earth, is having a part in the new catastrophe that we are now witnessing. That people of Myanmar perish, 140,000, just like that, because of cyclone That fast flood, flash floods all across the landscape of ASEAN, Southern Philippines, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, and Myanmar. Never in the history of Bangkok that we have seen such a calamity of floods. And it has affected automobile production in Indonesia. It has affected automobile production in Europe and in the United States because of the connectivity that we have together, the production network. We are witnessing a new catastrophe. And this new catastrophe has a deep moral dimension to it because each and every one of us could reverse it, could prevent it, could manage it in front of our lives. If we shift, if we change, if we transform a bit of our consciousness, our awareness, we can prevent it. And that is the moral dimension of the new catastrophe. And I'm glad that this forum is part of that new awareness that is emerging globally. Indonesia are 17,000 islands with people living on it. Probably tens of thousands more only with trees and other living species. But Indonesia are not an island on Earth. Indonesia cannot live in isolation from the rest of the region, from the rest of the world. All of us are not island unto ourselves. No man is an island. Said another poem, another poetry by John Donne. No man is an island entire of itself, not even in tradition. Every man is a part of the entire humanity. Every man's death, every human being's suffering, every child hunger, every orangutan's problems with his or her own habitat diminishes me as a human being because I am a part of mankind. Therefore, send not to ask, John Dunn said 200 years ago, send not to ask for whom the bell tolls, the bell of danger, the bell of catastrophe, the bell of moral catastrophe that is coming in front of us. It tolls for thee, for all of us. And ASEAN would like to be at the forefront of this new awareness. And ASEAN has to thank Indonesia for giving us a home secretary and for repeating over and over again that the foreign policy, that the posturing onto the global stage of Indonesia will very much be part of the ASEAN posturing onto the world. Thank you very much.